The small town general store gets romanticized on stage and screen, and in many communities it's been replaced by the big box operation where you can find pretty much everything under one giant roof. But places like Fred's Feed and Supply still do exist in small towns like West Liberty, Iowa. And trust me, there's a lot more inside here than feed and supply. There are less than 4,000 people living here. But before you label West Liberty, Iowa a sleepy small town, drive down West 3rd Street to find Fred's Feed and Supply. Say howdy to Larry Miller outside on the forklift. Hi, Howard. Go inside and spend a few minutes like with that. his brother, Bruce. Um, let me look one place, sir. And sleepy isn't the word that comes to mind. See you, Donna. Yep, have a good week. You too. And where else can folks go to get stuff like this in town? Well, I don't think we hardly, there's nothing that's really very much duplicated here by any other business. So that means they have to go 20 miles to Muscatine or 20 miles to Iowa City. Wow. 20 mile drive to 20, get a wrench. To get a wrench. To get, get a here. 10 cent nut. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you've definitely filled a need yeah. here in town. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I bet there's not a day that goes by where somebody doesn't say, boy, we're glad you're here. The corner feed store was once a mainstay of small towns across the heartland. And when Fred Miller opened Fred's Feeds back in 1966, the store's purpose was simple, sell livestock feed to local farmers. And they still do that. He wanted something to grind up meat with. But scanning a catalog for home yeah. appliance prices yeah. wasn't in the original yeah. business plan. Either was selling spray paint, tools, or garden hose. These days, just two out of 10 people that walk through the door are farmers. As farming has changed, so have the needs of farmers. Larger livestock operations lots of times have their own feed mills. Many of the old feed stores have closed their doors. When we were kids, I don't think we had a customer that would have hardly even been outside the West Liberty area as far as address. Now we've got customers from Conesville, Muscatine, West Branch, Iowa City addresses. Why is that? Um, fewer people to service them. There's not as many feed dealers. No one cares to call on them, and most of the time they're also smaller farmers, so they grew up walking into a feed store, and they like to walk into a feed store. They don't want to go to a a fleet store or anything like that. We will see what September brings. Yeah, very good. <laughs> you might call it yeah, supply yeah, side yeah, economics yeah. on a local level. It's the supply side of Fred's that keeps them in business. Plumbers, electricians, homeowners can drop in and pick up what they need and be on their way. And a personal touch goes a long way at Fred's. There you go. One dozen. Thank you. Thanks, Leanne. There's not very many days that go by where I don't know almost everybody's name that comes in here. You know them by their first name? You know them by their first name. You know their kids? Know their kids, know their grandpas, know their mom and dads, yeah. I mean, that's a small town thing all the way, but it's, it's helpful. They'll come back the next day if they need, they Absolutely. trust you. Absolutely, they trust us, yep. You know, they can walk in here and Bruce, Larry, or Ben, or Fred, or Char are gonna say, hey, how you doing? How's your daughter? What do you need? Just number two. And when you know everybody, running lines of credit for customers is pretty easy. Uh, okay. Thank you. You bet. Sign Brian's name to it? Yep. Okay. In many communities, the small feed and supply store has been replaced by larger chains that cater to the weekend jobber, the backyard chicken enthusiast, or sportsman. In Oregon, those stores go by the name of Wilco. I have to admit, I'm a little lost. I think I need a, a sage, a guide to show me around this place, and I think I found it. This is Merle. How you doing, Merle? Hi, I'm Merle. Glad to meet you. Man, you got tool. This is like the tool aisle right here. You can see, I mean, everything from glue guns to wrenches and sockets. It's like a candy store. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and <laughs> bolts. Did you ever think that you'd see so many nuts and bolts oh, in one store? This is, uh, you got them right here. I mean, we got them. Go, look at this, power tools. Ooh, huh? Power tools. No, now we're talking. Item. A growing item for stores like Wilco, chickens for backyard eggs. Man, Man there's, there's a lot of birds here. Hey, Allie, how you doing? Hello, good. These are turkeys. We have uh, bronze turkeys and white turkeys. Uh, these are your uh, turkeys raised for eating. 
<laughs> so are there like chickens all over backyards in Portland? Absolutely, yeah. It's really big. What do you think, Merle? You want some chicks? I'm always in the market for chicks. <laughs> I guess if you want to weld. So here's your gray mesh gates, galvanized mesh gates, two inch bowl gates. We need to look good. All right. Can you make us look good? I can. We I want to be ready for work. Ready for work. We can set you up. Suzanne, I'm not so sure about this. Uh, what do you think? I think you guys look great. You're ready for work. <laughs> you think so? I think so. Oh, Merle, I didn't even see you there with that camouflage. You're, you're hiding. <laughs> Trying to take all my glory, aren't you? <laughs> Back in West Liberty, they're not worried about fashion. And Fred's Feed and Supplies owners know they can't compete with the bigger stores on all levels. No backyard chickens for sale here. But they do have fishing worms courtesy local 11-year-old boy, Hank Mead. Hey, Hank. So what'd you do? You started looking out in the garden, or where'd you start finding worms? I started looking out in the grass, and I started looking out the garden. We stay up to probably 2. 2 in the morning? Yeah. Looking for worms? Yeah. Did you find some? Yeah. 10. I think there's only 9. 9. After exhausting the worm supply and his dad, Hank now gets his worms online and sells them to Bruce and Larry. There's a 50 cents, 21 and 22. It's a nice little business for you. Yeah. You made some money this summer? Yeah. You've probably done pretty well, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, congratulations. You're a small town businessman now. Yeah. They're going to ask you to join the Chamber of Commerce. What's that? <laughs> Until then, with every worm and work boot, a slightly larger small business holds its own in this small town.